So let us talk about the endoplasmic reticulum. In simple terms, it is called as ER. If you see an eukaryotic cell, you will find the endoplasmic reticulum in the form of elongated oval or oblong bags or vesicles. It is in the form of bags or vesicles. See here that they have some channels. They look like a network of channels that they are extending from the nucleus towards the plasma membrane. So they are forming, they are forming some kind of channel. They are forming some kind of way. Now let us see, just we have seen the structure, even though they varied in their uh, shape, size and their orientation in different cells, but they form a network which is called as endoplasmic reticulum. Basically, we find two different types of endoplasmic reticulum inside a cell. One is SER, the other one is RER. What is this SER stands for? Smooth endoplasmic reticulum and RER stands for rough endoplasmic reticulum. So here it tells the nature of it smooth and rough. What is smooth? What is rough? The endoplasmic reticulum, certain endoplasmic reticulum, it consists of small granule like particles called as ribosomes, ribosomes. If the endoplasmic reticulum consists of these ribosomes, if it consists of it, these ribosomes, it is called as RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum. If the endoplasmic reticulum does not contain any ribosomes, it is called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Means the endoplasmic reticulum with ribosomes, rough endoplasmic reticulum, without ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So structurally they are varied. Of course, everything is called as endoplasmic reticulum. But there exists only the structural difference or any functional difference between the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Yes, there is a functional difference too. The rough endoplasmic reticulum, it involves in the function of protein synthesis, protein synthesis. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it involves in a function of lipid synthesis. They manufacture lipids. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it manufacture the lipids. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, it manufacture the proteins. The manufacturing, the preparation is termed as synthesis. So this is achieved by this SER and RER, what they are making, lipids and proteins. Why they are needed? In the previous session we studied when we were studying the plasma membrane, we learned that plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins. So for the construction of the plasma membrane, lipids and proteins are required which are prepared by endoplasmic reticulum, which is termed as biogenesis, preparation of Synthesis of lipids and proteins for the formation of cell membrane is termed as biogenesis takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell. It is a major function achieved by the endoplasmic reticulum. Of course, various proteins that are synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, these proteins are converted to very important biochemical molecules like enzymes and hormones which play a very active role in the control, coordination, development and metabolism of an organism, enzymes and hormones. So enzymes and hormones are even, chemically they are proteins which are synthesized here. So that is the importance of this endoplasmic reticulum. And what is the other function apart from the synthesis of materials like lipids and proteins? What else it does? So it is 
it acts as a channel for communication so what has to be communicated from where to where it has to be communicated the communication must reach from the nucleus to some other cell organelle the mitochondria so the information should pass through some material some agent materials to reach this place and this endoplasmic reticulum it acts like a network channel for communication for passage of materials from one place of cytoplasm to the other place of cytoplasm so that is the other important function carried out by this endoplasmic reticulum here we find some other important function apart from the two functions which we discussed in certain kind of vertebrates like in humans the liver cells they contain the endoplasmic reticulum which will detoxify the poisons and harmful drugs so that takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum so the endoplasmic reticulum it provides a surface for many biochemical reactions very important biochemical reactions they takes place on the surface of this endoplasmic reticulum so in this way the endoplasmic reticulum it helps a lot in the biochemical activity of this cell that is in the production of useful materials say whether proteins in the form of enzymes or hormones or other metabolites which are very essential for carrying out some very important reactions inside the cell so that is the prominence or importance of the endoplasmic reticulum so next we are going to talk about another cell organelle that is golgi complex sometimes it is also called as golgi apparatus apparatus why are we using this apparatus and the terms complex for this cell organelle so and how it got the name golgi what does it mean so these organelles were first described by a scientist called as camillo golgi so they're called by the name golgi in honor of him and they are called as complex or apparatus because of their structure and function if you see them they are like vesicles arranged parallel to one another and having some connection this vesicle is connected to this 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 these are called as cisterns cisterns so this is at some point connected to endoplasmic reticulum connected to endoplasmic reticulum even in its function it is having a connectivity to the endoplasmic reticulum what is the connection what is the function of endoplasmic reticulum Endo endoplasmic reticulum function is production of proteins and fats or production of biochemicals enzymes hormones these kind of things are produced here see if you see a factory the goods are produced so after production the goods are not taken to the customers directly as it is as they are produced they are to be packed properly otherwise it gets spoiled it cannot be transported properly if there is no proper package right so in the similar fashion how the materials produced in a factory are properly packed sealed and properly dispatched in the same way the dispatching of the materials which are produced in the endoplasmic reticulum is done at this golgi apparatus so the main function of this golgi apparatus is to pack the materials that are prepared by endoplasmic reticulum and dispatching these materials sometimes the golgi apparatus converts the materials which are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum that means certain complex sugars it will convert to simple sugars and these materials will be properly packed this golgi apparatus it forms the vacuoles which are packed with materials and these vacuoles they travel to some other place where they are required and they are responsible for formation of lysosomes also if some other materials are waste materials or harmful materials are converted to some other form 
they have to be dispatched or disposed out of the cell so they are packed in the form of a lysosome in this way the golgi apparatus it takes the function of dispatching the materials which are synthesized by the endoplasmic reticulum so that is the reason it is connected even to this endoplasmic reticulum so as it is having connection with these uh, endoplasmic reticulum itself and it is con consisting of so many things together you call it as a complex or otherwise you call it as an apparatus so that is the main function of the golgi apparatus if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus